What is up and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Today we are checking at probably one of the most highly requested songs since we started the channel. We are looking at The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald by Gordon Lightfoot. We checked out Gordon Lightfoot's Sundown uh, a couple weeks ago and everybody was rose to me. They couldn't believe I've never heard of him. Well, I hadn't. But I'm ready to explore more and learn more about him because he's obviously a killer, killer singer and songwriter. All right, guys, if you want to support the channel, become a channel member right here on YouTube. If that doesn't work for you, head on over to Patreon, become a member there, or slide on over to buy me a coffee for a one-time donation. Each of these gets you exclusive perks and priority video requests. All right, I am amped up. I'm excited. So many of y'all said to check this out. So today's the day. So let's get into it. Hi, right, YouTube family. Here we go. We are looking at The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald by Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, from what I gathered from you all, it is a ship that sank uh, around 1975 and all 29 men on board uh, tragically passed away. So, all right, let's get into it. Let's see what it is. It's highly requested, so I'm excited. The legend lives. Okay, these are the lyrics. Cool. Got that good six eight feel. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down at the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. What great lyricism. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. Ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. Then later that night, when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? This dude is a poet, uh, and he puts it to music. I mean, the lyricism and the imagery that he's using is insane. It makes you feel like you are literally there. And the way he uses certain descriptions, I mean, it is just phenomenal. Uh, it just in, You're just entrenched in the story. So good. The wires made a tattletale sound when the wave broke over the railing. And every man knew as the captain did too, twas the witch of November come stealing. What a lie. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain. In the face of a hurricane west wind What a tone When supper time came The old cook came on deck Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril Man. And later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Whew. 
Ooh, dang, I got goosebumps. I mean, this is insane writing. Um, and I know y'all a lot of y'all were roasting me saying you've never heard of Gordon Lightfoot, and I, and I just hadn't. But I'm so glad that I stumbled upon him. I mean, this is so moving the way he puts these detailed lyrics to music, and it's got a great six eight feel. Um, it's swinging. I mean, the whole song is just a masterpiece. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. I mean, crazy emotional too to think about that night and what they were going through and that it really happened and this is a factual story so goodness in the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? Wow. The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they'd put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Wow. Lake Huron Roll Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. And farther below Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go as the mariners all know with the gales of November remembered. way he can weave and i've said it and you're just entrenched entrenched in the message few artists uh can do that um you could probably name them on one hand that can really tell a story through those lyrics that literally put you in that location uh, and feel the feelings that those men are feeling um just incredible i'm so glad i discovered him uh this is obviously a tragic, tragic tale, um, but history needs to be told at the same time. Uh, and who better to do it than this song? So y'all shooting down in the comments and let me know what else I should check out from him. So good. In a musty old hall in Detroit, they prayed in the Maritime Sailors' Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. And the legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. Such a great songwriting tool, too. He basically ended the way he started. Um, very, very similar. I have to go back and read it, but very, very smart to kind of wrap it up and go full circle lyrically. Uh, very, very uh, cool songwriting tool.
my goodness, what an emotional tune. Uh, yeah, I'm speechless. I mean, the way that was written and the lyrical delivery uh, was top notch. Very, very good. I've never heard nothing like it. Uh, it really puts you, like I said, in in the, in the place and what those men felt and just the words he used. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Thank you all so much. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Well, thank you all so much for joining me on that one. What an incredible song. Just, I mean, absolutely amazing. I have no idea even what else I can say about it. It was just phenomenal. Very moving, very emotional. Guys, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so when we release more content, you all get it. Thank you all so much for your continued support. Have an amazing day. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.